whole series of trash. Look at all the gum over there, and they left water and other things. Someone has unloaded their car right there. This is what happened 10 years ago around here. 10 years ago, this place was mostly clean. There wasn't gum all over the place like this, and it got progressively worse. They even closed down the 7-Eleven gas station. I think it was a 7-Eleven over there. We used to use it to gas up, and they came back from Cape Coma or that shitty Ford dealer over there. And um, they closed down that. The guys say they got like, robbed like every other week on like a Monday. I got robbed again. I got the rod dude. It was like a Jamaican dude or a black dude. I don't know. It's a nice guy who ran the place. But he was like, what's wrong with this place? They robbed me again. I used to go to, actually, Monday. We were riding around here with the wrecker. Like, because that thing had terrible fuel economy. You were everywhere. I used to encounter a lot, a lot, a lot of damaged uh, convenience stores from a robbery. But you don't hear about it too much. It happens very frequently around here. This thing runs good. Someone asked me if the oil pressure thing is fine. After two years, pretty much. It probably did some bearing damage. We did change the thermostat too. This runs normal temperature again, 190. This thing needs... It's nice windows at the junkyard. Tinted and everything. I probably should just grab that. This thing needs new tint. Um, solar guard. From the idiots... I think their name was Savage, Idiots, and uh, somewhere out east in Long Island, I forget where, the town, something like 112.